Hey guys, so here we have the SFR Racing Concept Battle uh, Red Bull Ring Short Circuit, which is one of my favourite circuits, I know the Red Bull Ring pretty well. I managed to get second, I'm not sure how I managed that, but I'm very grateful. Uh, I've been qualifying pretty well in this, in this round, so I was very lucky. I got a bad start though, and I need to work on my start, so I'm usually pretty good with good starts, but it's something I need to work on. I was struggling with it through this this round as well, especially getting good qualifying spots. Um, so you'll see, it's a decent start. It's it's okay. Um, I get caught out a little bit on the inside, and I have Chef Todd uh, right on me at the start of the race, and he's he's incredible. He puts on so much pressure. Um, it's always fun racing with him, but he's always clean. He's always always tidy and respectful. So that's why I love. I love racing with him. Heading into this right-hander, no, no dramas there, just avoiding the green Astro turf. Two wheels on the track means you won't get a penalty, as you see there. Um, and he's right with me. He's just he's just sticking, sticking with me through the whole thing. Now, coming up to this heavy braking right-hander, um, I know you can cut it quite aggressively, but you run the risk of getting a penalty. So you see, I take a wide line through there just to play it safe, and I ride the sausage curve on the next right on the sausage curve there quite aggressive but still within the limits and you see it gives me a slight advantage just over Todd who played it a bit safe. Now coming up to this right hander I should have braked a little bit earlier I, I missed my braking marker there and you see I run off wide which is another potential penalty spot and I do get a penalty for that later on but you'll see that um, as you keep watching. Luckily no penalty this time so I was very lucky with that uh, and Chef Todd just sort of eased off a little bit which took the pressure off me. Um, aside from that, these opening few laps, there was 21 laps, of, uh, these opening few laps were uneventful to say the least. Um, not many mistakes. I did get a couple penalties for corner cuts and that's my fault, uh, pushing a bit too hard there. But at the same time, not, not too much drama, just dealing with Chef Todd because he was, he was absolutely amazing. He was flying through this, um, through this initial opening phase. So I'll be back later on, uh, let you keep watching, and I shall speak to you guys soon. Bye. So you'll see my, um, my penalty there just because I ran too wide uh, coming off that final sector uh, like I mentioned before. So unfortunately that did catch me out. But you'll notice also A. McEwen coming through and he is just blindingly fast. Like I, I can't explain it. He is absolutely incredible. Um, so he battles with Chef Todd which gives me a bit of space but I also had a penalty to, to wind down. So you'll see me slowly bringing that down as, as sort of as quick as I can, but also maintaining that second position for as long as I can, even though I knew it was futile with AE breathing down my neck. Um, but unfortunately, that that's what I was meaning. If you run too wide, and it's very easy to do off that high-speed right-handers, um, it will catch you out. So I pull over to the right-hand side, trying to weigh my, um, weigh my penalty down. You see both of them get by, Todd and McEwen. Um, so at this point, I'll, all I'm trying to do is just get the toe. 
that's all I want. Keep it clean, get the toe, and see what I can do. So the toe's pretty powerful off this, um, this gravel wing main straight. So I, I take the toe from Todd um, and just basically try to send one down the inside um, with the hope of, of making it stick. But he's, he's too wise for me. He covers off the inside. Beautiful move. Cops a penalty though. Uh, just cut the corner a bit too much. So that was unfortunate. And that just allows me to barge on in on the inside. No fault of his own. And I didn't earn the position back. I guess it was just the penalty that gave it to him. But, you know, you never look a gift horse in the mouth. So I took it anyway. And um, unfortunately, that's that was the end of the pressure from from Todd. Um, surprisingly, sneaking up the, up the inside there is Heatster. Now Heatster comes into play later on and he is just all over me like white on rice. Honestly, just amazing. Absolutely amazing battle with this guy. Um, the amount of pressure, the cleanliness of it, and just the fact that he was, he was just putting me any which way to get past was was just enjoyable it was it was so much fun um, and we we outbraked each other um, and we did we did do some 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 risky maneuvers shall i say but it was all in good fun and um we kept it clean so i was very grateful for that so you saw where i ran wide chef todd went off the track unfortunately but that's where i got the other penalty so that's what i was meaning if you run too wide off that first corner goes right um you will cop a penalty and the computer decided that I deserved one this time. So this brings Heath into to play and just enjoy the rest of this because he was absolutely amazing. Um, the final result was third and fourth between us, but if you stick till stick around till the end, you'll see just how close it was because if we had one more lap he would have he would have caught me up and passed me without a question of that. Um, so I'll let you enjoy the rest of this. Uh, enjoy the battle with Heatster because this is as good as it gets, to be honest. We had just the most fun.
so now we get to the more exciting battle of um, Pete's Day and I is coming down this high speed right hander for the main straight last two corners and last one corner you see he just picks up just an amazing bit of speed there he had a better corner corner exit than I did and you see him just run it right into the curb area to get that toe behind me now I saw him coming up I had my radar on I'm watching where he is I sent him on the outside of me to the left knowing if I hug the inside I could hold position and I break as late as I possibly could forcing him basically to run wide uh, as wide as I did to push him because you have to be respectful um, but just braking as late as I could trusting that the, that the car would s would stop basically and and taking my chances running that that right hand curve up the hill um, of turn one because you can easily catch a penalty there now Pete's just sort of caught on to that um, he saw that move he was quite quite happy with it um, because I noticed he, he he repaid the favor basically um, which is amazing it's it's just brilliant racing really so he was getting a good exit out of the last two corners as you can see that he was just riding me so hard um, no pun intended but you see he he gets up to my gearbox again gets the toe a lot more wiser than than I thought this time and sends it down the inside but I, I sort of saw that move coming so I knew the toe would give him a bit too much speed so I braked earlier I actually braked a lot earlier trying for the undercut on the inside line and it worked because it shot him out um, a bit too far out on the on the curb area and that just allowed me to play it safe make the corner and retake third place so overall I, I, I can't complain I mean battling with Heatster was the icing on the cake on getting a podium so I can't believe I got third I still can't believe it it's my first podium of the, of the series and I am just so grateful to be racing with these guys because they are so clean um, and they make each battle so much fun because you can push each other other to the limit knowing you're not going to hit each other um, so I got a podium in this race my my first podium third place I was just so grateful uh, considering all the battles that I had but um, enjoy the video and Thanks for watching.